Hi, my name is Nabiha Saklayan. I'm the CEO and co-founder at Selino. And um, Selino is working on new regenerative medicines. So we're a regenerative medicine company. Uh, but it's interesting because it was actually started by a physicist. So I'm a physicist by training. I, I got a PhD in physics and uh, got very interested in using physics and engineering technologies to disrupt medicine. That's how Selino came into being. I'd been working on a novel technology during my PhD that had a lot of promise. It was very new and exciting, a laser-based cell manipulation method. And uh, my biology collaborators were thrilled at the early results and convinced me to do a startup, um, which was unexpected. It's not something I had planned. I was planning on doing a postdoc after my PhD. Um, but because my collaborators were so enthusiastic, they were world leaders in biology, I decided I should take a year to explore what the startup could be. So I did my PhD in physics at Harvard University and was working with several groups at Harvard Medical School, um, Derek Rossi, David Scadden, George Church, um, and that's how um, the biology research started. Yeah. And where it all started was with one of my lab mates from grad school, Marina Madrid. She's an applied physicist, nanomaterials expert. and. Um, the two of us pretty much got together and decided to go on this journey and uh, were able to build a very compelling founding team. Um, and it, it was pretty incredible to see Boston's top talent wanting to join us. We were a young startup. Uh, we didn't have that much money, but uh, the response was tremendous. We were able to bring in top biologists, top machine learning scientists, and a lot of people ask me, how is that, po like, what's it like to hire talent in Boston given that it's so competitive? And uh, we've been very fortunate that um, there's a lot of excitement around what we're doing and the fact that our approach is so novel, it's never been done before. Um, we, uh, we're getting a lot of buy-in from uh, talented scientists and engineers and business folks who want to join the team. So. We're, we're on a good path, so we just got to keep going. <laughs> In terms of team um, growth, we've focused, we've always, I've always made a priority to, ha to want to work with people who I think are smarter than me in a different dimension that I have no skills in. Uh, what that's led to is a very well-rounded team, very small. We work very closely together. Uh, but uh, it's phenomenal to see what a small team can accomplish if you have a small team of brilliant minds. So that's how we want to grow the company. I mean, our goal is not to have 100, 200 people with a large lab, lots of benches. Uh, we really want um, a small, tight-knit team that can communicate effectively across all the disciplines that we're covering.